What is going on everyone? This is from Frame Up Guy here once again. So I have some very important and exciting news to share with y'all. So it was just announced earlier today that well by the commissioner of the National Hockey League, Gary Bettman, has announced that the NHL season will be returning. Um, and, well, it'll be a bit different, um, as, well, there will be 24 teams, uh, in a new playoff format. So, right, 24 teams, originally there's only 16 teams, but now they're going to make it. 24 teams so in the rest of the the other eight teams they're they're done they're already eliminated so their seasons are over so yeah so this means that the regular season is officially done so the blues we are basically the division champions and the top four seeds in each conference gets basically a first round by um, and well, in the Blues, we are the number one seed in the West, along with the Colorado Avalanche, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights at three, and the Dallas Stars at four. So, um, you know, that's pretty, uh, pretty exciting. You know, we're defending, defending Cup champs, and we will get the number one seed in the playoffs whenever they start. Now, there has not been a a date set for when it will start, but hopefully, like, players and coaches and all that will get back to the facility and they'll, every team will have, like, a training camp, um, which will take about three weeks, and then playoffs will start, and also they will not be in the, you know, the cities where the teams play, um, well, actually, for some teams, they might get a, a home game, but uh, it'll be a bit different. There'll be, like, certain cities. Um, i trying to read it out right here. Um, yeah, so top four teams in each conference will, will sit out for the first round. Um, and... Uh, the season to actual return will require entirely different conversation about locations, accommodation, testings, and safety measures. So, and yeah, you guys might be asking, do I like this new idea, 2014 playoff format? Yeah, I actually do quite a bit. Um, yeah, I, I actually really like that a lot. Um, you know, having the top four teams in each conference uh, sit out the first round, and then the rest play each other. I think that's that's really really nice and really good. So anyway, um, uh, I'm trying. To, uh, yeah, so with the current matchups for whenever they start, uh, the top seeds in the Eastern Conference would be, or would be the Bruins, Lightning. Capitals and Flyers, and then maybe five twelve matchup Penguins versus Montreal, six eleven Hurricanes Rangers, seven ten uh, Islanders Panthers, and eight nine seed Maple Leafs and Blue Jackets. So that's how it is. In so, so it's almost like a, a March Madness. Almost you know you have all the the, you know, seeds playing each other. So I think this will be really, really fun and interesting to watch. Um, yeah, so, and it says, the winner of the 5 versus 12 series will play the number 4 seed. The winner of the 6 versus 11 series will play the 3 seed. 7 versus 10 will play the 2. And then 8 versus 9 will face the top seed, so. 
I mean, so whoever the Blues would face would be either the Flames or the Jets in the second round. So, um, yeah, so I'm, I was really, really, I was pretty happy when I saw that. Um, yeah, since hockey hasn't been on in over two months, and yeah, since it's been on hiatus for over two months, March 12th, I believe was actually when it, it hit the pause button, basically every other sport in the world, pretty much. So anyway, um, and now how many sites will be needed for the return of, to the play? And while it says Las Vegas remains a front runner for one of the sites, so T-Mobile Arena, so that means the could be in the the Golden Knights could get a home game, um, and there are other ten uh, hub cities in consideration: Chicago, Columbus, Dallas, Edmonton, L.A., Minneapolis, St. Paul, Pittsburgh, Toronto, Vancouver, and Las Vegas. So. Uh, the engine will likely name the hub cities in the next three or four weeks. Um, and the expectation is that NHL games with fans in the building won't happen until the 2020-21 season. So, yeah, no fans at all. So that's a bit disappointing, but I mean, that's honestly all right for me as long as, you know, if there's no fans, that's all right. But if the game's just on, that's fine with me, no fans, so, anyway, um, yeah, uh, so, and they may have to do a bit of testing, too, with the players and coaches to, you know, make sure no one has tested for the, for COVID-19, um, and, and it says here testing phase to work in phase in phase one or in phase two. Um, see, if player travels back to his home city or public transportation, like commercial flight or train, he must serve a fourteen day self quarantine period before he can participate in phase two. As for testing, everyone participating in phase two will be administered in a laboratory based. Reverse transcription test 40 hours before they can participate. So, and anyway, um, yeah, so, you know, I'm a, oh, and also says players are encouraged to shower at home whenever possible, must leave workout clothing and equipment at the facility so the teams can handle the cleaning and must wear f footwear at all times in team facilities. No sharing of towels. Um, and, yeah. And, um, also the NFL, or the NHL draft is, uh, scheduled to, or was scheduled to be actually, like, in the middle of June. Um, and I honestly don't know when it'll be. Um, as, uh, yeah, the draft lottery will be a bit more complicated this year, done in two phases. Some teams did not qualify for the 2014 format, the Devil Sharks, Kings, Red Wings, Savers, Sharks, and Senators are automatically qualified for the lottery, and the right to pick Alexis Lafreniere, I don't know how you say that, number one overall. So, and we'll be playing on June 26th, so... Yeah, there's a lot of information and details about all the all the stuff going on, but hey, I am glad that this is going to happen, you know, it may not be for a while, probably maybe not f till, well, you know, for the players to get into the facilities and do the little training camp thing, which will be at least two to three weeks, so, you know, the playoffs may not happen until late July or early August, but it's all right with me. But that would mean that the season next year won't start until what I've heard probably January. So, but, um, yeah, so 
that's about all I have for now. Um, I have heard stuff about the NBA returning soon. Um, well, they haven't made they haven't made official dates about that either. But um, and also, I haven't really heard much about when when uh, MLB will be back on. Uh, hopefully, sometime soon as well in the next in the next month or so. But we don't know. So anyway. So long videos, let me know what you guys think about the NHL doing a 24-team playoff format. So, that's about all I have for now. Stay much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and stay safe.